Okay, we're back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. We talk a lot about August Wilson, but you're going to learn some things that you never knew when I say the name August Wilson. Here today to give us some perspective on what I'm talking about is Dr. Sandra Shannon. She is the founder and president of the August Wilson Society, and Janice Burley Wilson, who is the president and CEO of the August Wilson Center for... African American culture. Yes. You know, we always tend to just say the August Wilson Center, you can say but it's the important. No, it's important that we say the whole thing. Yes. So, Dr. Shannon, welcome to Pittsburgh. Thank you. What is the August Wilson Society? The August Wilson Society actually began in 2006, the spring of 2006, at Howard University, uh, shortly after the passing of Mr. Wilson in October of 2005. Um, charter members include, um, well, well, we initially called ourselves an interdisciplinary group, mm -hmm. which meant that faculty members from various departments came together. Um, many of them knew, understood, had seen a number of August Wilson's plays, mm -hmm. and saw a way that they could apply their disciplines to understanding his work. Mm -hmm. So we had professors from history, music, religion, English, political science, art, etc came together to form the August Wilson Society. Now, you're here in Pittsburgh yes. for through the weekend, basically. Yes. And uh, tell us what that's all about. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how far you want me to start with the idea. Let me start with the concept okay. of the conference. Um, I was trying to think of a way to make August Wilson's work even more relevant here and now. Okay. And being familiar with the body of his work, I thought, I tried to think about a theme that ran through the body of his work mm -hmm. that was inspirational and that might speak to the current generation. Okay. So I happened upon the phrase, go back and pick up the ball, which is a phrase taken mm -hmm. from two trains running. Mm -hmm. Holloway is talking, and he's talking about what the advice that Aunt Esther the 365-year-old oh, yeah. Esther community healer gave to him that you can't make a touchdown until you go back and pick, and up, the pick ball. up the ball. And I thought about that. And knowing August um, in terms of how beginning as a poet that he spoke metaphorically, mm -hmm. I, th I landed on that phrase. I thought about that phrase, and I said, I think that should be the theme of this conference. That's perfect. And Janice, talk to me yeah. about how exciting it is to have this conference, not only in the, home, the, the hometown of, of August Wilson, but at the center as well. It's very fitting to, to have the conference take place at the August Wilson Center. Um, I've been on the job since September 1, and from mm -hmm. the very beginning, I've tried to um, work in the spirit of August Wilson's legacy. We've been closely working with um, August Wilson's estate, his um, widow, Constanza Romero, mm -hmm. on um, developing our website on some of our branding. And so it's, I think that it's, it's an excellent opportunity for the August Wilson Center to align with scholars and um, experts in the field of August Wilson's work and um, kind of present the future of the August Wilson Center as a place where scholars mm. and, and people of, that are interested in the work can come together and talk and, and um, discuss the, the work and, and how it relates to what's happening. Which today. I'm guessing was part of the original mission and we kind of got off track, so it's nice to see this all, yeah. come all coming full together. Circle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so as I mentioned, Saturday morning, folks are watching us at home this morning. Mm -hmm. Are there things that they can participate in today or come and observe or? Um, Today, Saturday morning, I believe, um, yes, our keynote speaker will be Dr. Harry Elam, mm -hmm. who's also um, um, an August Wilson scholar. Uh, he's going to talk to us. Um, Saturday morning also, of course, we have an exciting culminating event, which will entail a live conversation with a group that have been affectionately dubbed August Wilson Warriors or Wilsonian Warriors. <laughs> that includes Michelle Shea, mm -hmm. Anthony Chisholm, Dwight Andrews, and Stephen Henderson. So we have figured out a way to put them in conversation. They're mm. going to be all across the country, okay. but we're going to be able to engage them in conversation uh, at a round table. So Saturday also is filled with a number of panels, discussions, roundtables, et cetera. So, I mean, interestingly, um, there are a lot of people who know a lot about August Wilson, mm -hmm. but there are also a lot of people 
who hunger for more information sure. about August Wilson. To them, I say, this is the place for you to come. I was going to say, here's the thing. One of the things I used to ask August all the time was, at the end of the night, what's my after-dinner conversation? What are we talking about once we've seen a particular play? And I feel like that's a lot of what's going to happen here. You're going to talk about some of the things, because you, you, you can't just leave an August Wilson play and go home. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know, the characters. Um, and the interesting thing about August's work is that he speak, he still speaks and writes as a poet. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's a lot of underlying meaning. He's trying to pack as much meaning as he can within the lines of these characters. So when you leave the theater, you're saying to yourself, now, what did I just hear? And so <laughs> that spurs you to engage in further conversation. Engage in conversation. Yeah. And Janice, this all happens at a perfect time because just last weekend, you all celebrated his birthday at the right. August Wilson Center. And I'm guessing there'll be a theme kind of we'll see more and more of. We hope so. And we hope to continue to work with the August Wilson Society moving forward. We've created some um, materials for the, for the center. So when people walk into the building, there's something that tells you, uh, there's a, a piece that tells you about August Wilson's work, mm -hmm. about his plays, about when they uh, appeared on Broadway. And Dr. Shannon contributed a great deal to, to that, um, that booklet that we've created. So Perfect. we plan to work together. There you go. Ladies, okay. thanks so much for joining Thank us today. Thank you for inviting us. Like great yes. information. Yes. We're going to take a commercial break. We're going to keep talking about August Wilson, but actually in the form of King Hedley II, which is beginning a run in Pittsburgh very soon. So don't go away when the Lean Hates Free Wing Show continues.